Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. So I've been through the May 2025 papers in quite a bit of detail, and predictions will be coming out soon for October. But in the meantime, I want to go through the key updates you need to be aware if you are doing those exams, either in October 2025 or 2026, that I found personally quite surprising when going through, particularly that paper two, the new non-calculator on 0580 maths. Now, the first part is that traditional calculator topics, or what I've always considered traditional calculator topics, are now appearing far more often in non-calculator paper too. Now, it's not a total surprise because obviously the papers are now roughly equal, uh, but it was still surprising nonetheless. So a question that came to mind here was that they gave you a point P and they gave you a quadratic in this case, and you had to draw the tangent line to this particular quadratic and then find the equation of that line. Now this, if someone had asked me this maybe even a year ago, what kind of question would this be on paper two, paper four? I would almost exclusively say, first of all, a paper four question. And also it hasn't come up that often in the last few years. So they've used this 2025 update to maybe take some of those older topics you saw in 2018, 2019, and give it like a sort of paper two revamp is what I like to call it. Now, number two is something I did mention before, but again, it's become even more important now. They're really not afraid of doing these volume surface area style questions in paper two, paper four. I think they're really trying to sort of balance it out. So be really, really comfortable working with pi. Don't feel you have to rush to your calculator. Well, in a paper two, of course, you don't have a calculator. This is a very sort of typical kind of question where they give you two solids of some kind, and they'll say the total surface area of A is equal to the total surface area of B, and then you have to work out uh, in this case, a missing length, so missing H. You can't really work with a calculator with that anyway, and they put it on paper too, so you're not even allowed to do it. So when you're practicing these kind of topics, don't just take those paper fours that you've seen in the last sort of five, 10 years, try and get some of that paper two practice in as well. And that's gonna lead into my third tip. Before I talk about my third tip, I would like to talk about the new A-Star Accelerator Bootcamp that I am launching for the October exams. I'm very excited to launch it. And essentially it's a eight, uh, eight hour intensive course over a weekend, so four hours on Saturday, four hours on Sunday, really to get you up to speed so you're confident in smashing the A star, not just the B grade, not just the A grade, but A star. So if you're interested in that, you can sign up in the description below and click the link, and then they'll take you through. The next bootcamp will be on October the 4th and October the 5th, right before your IGCC 0580 exam. Looking forward to seeing you there. Now, my third tip is that these questions, going through the questions that come out May 2025, also the February 2025 paper, feel very similar in style to the IGCSE 0607 International Maths paper twos. In fact, I feel that they've taken some of those questions and put them into the exam. That's how similar they are. So please, please use these also for revision because it goes back a good 10, 15 years and you can practice those paper two. They're only 45 minute papers, but you can get a real good experience of non-calculator. The link to those papers I'll put in the description, so Papa Cambridge, and take you through to that. Now, if you need more non-calculated practice, maybe you're not ready for past papers and non-calculated past paper practice, but you just want to build up your confidence non-calculator style, then check out the video right in front of you, because these are my non-calculator sprints, and it's a quick 20, 25 minute blast that gets your confidence really sky high for when you go into that paper too.